Hey there! Today I'll teach you how to create a beautiful and vibrant flower. So grab your favorite yarn and crochet hook, and let's get started! We'll begin by creating an amigurumi ring, a basic crochet technique. To do this, simply wrap the yarn around your two lower fingers, then bring it around the two upper fingers, just like magic! Now, take your crochet hook and slide it under the closest thread, grabbing the one farthest away. Awesome! Next, grab the thread from the ball and secure it. Now, let's move on to the next step, making three lifting air loops. One, two, three. Excellent work so far! Yarn over the hook into an amigurumi ring. Grab the thread. Knit our yarn over first. Then loop on the hook. So we get two double crochets. Three, chain loop count as the double crochet. Make a chain loop. This is a repeat of the pattern, so you need to knit six repeats of the pattern. I'll show you once again. Yarn over the hook into the amigurumi ring. Grab the thread and pull it out. Knit the first two loops, then the second two loops. Then again, we knit the yarn over the hook into the amigurumi ring. Grab the thread, pull it out. Knit the first two loops on the hook, then the second loops on the hook and chain loop. We have two repeats of the pattern now. Repeat this process four more times, adding a total of six amazing repeats. Are you excited? Let's continue our knitting adventure together. Count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Now, create a chain loop to finish it off. Next, join the third chain loop by using a connecting post. Remember to tighten the tip, just like a magic knot, to secure our amigurumi ring. Now, let's move to the next step and find ourselves under this arch. For this, simply make a connecting post. Exciting, isn't it? Get ready to create something truly marvelous with your crochet skills. We're going to make three airy loops, This is the foundation of our next pattern. Next, in the same arch, we'll create one double crochet. And add an airy loop. To complete the pattern, we'll make two more double crochets in the same arch. One. Two. Fantastic! Now, let's move on to the next step. We're going to skip to the next arch and repeat the same combination. One. Two. Air loop. Two double crochets. Here is a repeat of the pattern. We repeat the same thing four more times. That is, we will get six repeats of the pattern. We skip the next arch with an air loop. And here we knit the same combination between two double crochets. After four more repeats of this amazing pattern, we'll have a total of six repeats. It's incredible how quickly this project comes together. To complete our masterpiece, we'll join in the third airy loop. We attach a thread here with a connecting post. Then we move to the next arch again with a connecting post. And again the nearby arch with a connecting post. 
That is, we moved here where we have an air loop. We make three lifting air loop. One, two, three. And in the same arch, we make six more double crochets. Four, five, and six. Three lifting air loop we count as a column. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is, there are seven double crochets here. Next we also knit 7 double crochets here in this arch where we have an air loop. We skip this. We knit in this. Yarn over on a hook. I need a break. So in this chain loop we make 7 double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we skip this and knit here where we have a chain loop. Again, seven double crochets. I will join you when I finish this row. All right, I've just finished knitting this beautiful flower. Now, let me show you how to add the finishing touches. Join in the third chain stitch. Perfect. Cut off the thread and pull all the threads. Remember, with crochet, you're not just crafting patterns, you're crafting memories. So let your imagination soar and create something truly magical. Happy crocheting!